Hey, and welcome to my Lego Hulkbuster set review. Uh, for this review, uh, sorry guys, but I don't have the containment cage thing that Iron Man traps Hulk in, but, um, sorry if you haven't seen Age of Ultron, uh, but that's kind of a spoiler. And, uh, set's so big, I can't really fit it in the camera, but... Uh, I'll start off with the minifigures. So, first here we have Ultron Prime, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we have Ultron Prime, which is um, one of my, well, this is my only Ultron minifigure. Uh, honestly, I would wish he had the top part, but as long as he's Ultron, I like it. Uh, next we have Iron Man. I have a review on him, so if you want to see him, uh, look at my review, but pretty much he has red, um, he has a white arc reactor, white eyes, uh, gold print on his legs, and some gold up here. He also has some dark gray and gold on his back, and this one has more dark gray than the, uh, than the Iron Man that the Iron Man minifigures that have already come out, but yeah, and now and then we have uh, Scarlet Witch right here, and honestly, this is not one of my favorite minifigures because uh, why they use blue? The uh, Lego used blue. I mean, she doesn't have anything to do with blue, and I know a lot of people have been complaining about that, but all in all, the rest of the minifigure is. Great, she has another face, which is this one, and um, she has, her jacket doesn't actually go, it does go all the way around, but her legs don't, and uh, her shirt is just, uh, she wears a black dress thingy, or whatever you call it, I don't even know, um, but and next we have the Hulk, which is probably my favorite minifigure of this set. A lot of people would be probably getting him for the, the getting the set actually for the Hulk and the Hulkbuster, because um, I think they've put a lot more detail into the new Hulk, such as the Avengers uh, purple pants. Uh, you can kind of see it or not, I don't know, but. Uh, he has like an Avenger symbol. Uh, he also has, the other one had hair that looked like the Lego Harry Potter's hair to me, which didn't really suit the Hulk. This one has more muscles, I think, honestly. Or, yeah, he has more muscles, more um, print. The bad thing is, if you look, he has this little line, which is where they had to put them together on the... Um, on the back, um, but his hair is messed up a little bit, and so that's what I like. And it's all in all, this minifigure is a good minifigure. Um, so yeah, now we'll get on to the Hulkbuster. Uh, <laughs> have to lean the camera up to, to see this, but uh, as you can see, the cockpit opens where you can fit uh, Iron Man inside. And you can uh, place him right in there. Uh, and then the arc reactor is a blue dish piece with a stud on the top. And then um, the legs have thrusters underneath too, which is cool. And they have some gold de detail. Uh, and this piece is none of the pieces on the Hulkbuster are printed. I mean, all of them are printed, so, yeah. And then, if you turn it around, he has thrusters on his back. And light blue skeleton arms is what hold the Hulkbuster, uh, his head in. And then, what I don't like about the set, there's, like, one thing. Um two actually the blue thing for Scarlet Witch and um the Hulkbuster is a lot bigger than the Hulk 
Like, I mean, I know it's bigger in the movie, but, like, um, let's say someone's going to try to make a stop motion, they have to put, like, the whole closer to the camera to make them look bigger, or they have to make another one of these models of, they have to make, make another Hulkbuster set, um, for it, or a different size. Okay, um, onto the hand. Uh, he has, uh, the hand isn't one of my favorite parts of it, but, uh, it has blue right here. This one also has blue, but it also has the stud shooter, which needs blue cylinders. Um, and then, that pretty much sums it up for this set. Um, it's one of my favorite Age of Ultron sets, um, just because it has the Hulkbuster in it, and Hulk, but, um, this is one of my favorite sets, I would suggest you guys to get it, uh, like this video, and subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, bye.